Good morning guys. I just got to Alabama and I'm sitting in my car. I've been on the road for a little over two hours and I've still got a little over an hour left, but we're going to do, we as in me, myself and I, <laughs> we're going, I said it again. I'm going to do the final walkthrough for our new house and I'm so excited. And my husband's at work today, so that's why he didn't come with me. But yeah, I'm excited. I really hope they fixed that thing in the roof because I didn't have a nightmare about it last night though but I'm just worried about it and I'm worried about some of the other stuff they're supposed to fix there was like a few holes in the wall and just stuff like that you that you don't ex and expect from a new construction home but I'm glad we got a home inspector because I feel like they're more likely to fix it since it was in the home inspection report you know what I'm saying so we'll see but if they if there's stuff they didn't fix that they will fix then they'll either do it by friday when we close or they'll have it in paper that they're gonna do it within a certain amount of time after we close so anyway i've just gotta let go of it and not be too anxious about it and too stressed because i know it's all gonna work out god literally lined all this up for us to have this house and it's gonna be a stretch financially but honestly to rent like like we're buying a four bedroom, two bath house and to rent a three bedroom, two bath was going to be even more expensive than buying this one. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see. All right. Bye guys. I'll update you later. All right. So I made it to Bucky's and I forgot to update y'all about the final walkthrough. I made it there right on time. I had to use the bathroom. So I ran to a gas station and then I made it back to the house at like 10 on the dot so that was a close one but okay it was better than I thought it would be they did fix like a lot of the paint scuffs and the hinges on every door had like a lot of paint on them and they fixed all that so it looks much better it's not like sloppy the holes in the walls they fixed that looks really good it looks like you can barely tell anything was there which is good because I was worried about that they did fix the drawer thing in the roof, so that's done. And the biggest thing is like the concrete outside and then there's a new hole in the wall behind the front door where the they didn't have like a door stopper. So the front door knocked, like the door handle knocked a hole in the wall. So they're going to they're gonna fix that. And then the cleaning crew was in there, so they're going to clean it all up and yeah. So there's the few little things that they still have to do then. And he says, the superintendent says that he'll get them done by Friday, but the concrete outside, they are gonna do a new skim over it because the concrete, like it cured weird. Like if it's even cured yet, I don't know, but the concrete company seems to think it's just not cured yet, but it's like splotchy and no other house is like that. And it looks like they got some of the skim that they did on the front porch concrete. They got that in splotches over the driveway concrete. So anyway, he said that he'll go ahead and skim the whole driveway and the garage and everything and just skim it all and re-skim the front porch. So yeah, hopefully <laughs> it looks good after that. I mean, it's... The skim's a little bit darker gray than like the like white concrete, you know? So I don't know how it'll look, but hopefully it'll look better. And there was like a low spot on the front porch where some water was pulling up. So he said that he'd have them fix that too with the skim, that he'd just like have them skim it thicker there. Cause he said skim is like still a form of concrete. It's just concrete without rocks so is what he says so hopefully they'll get that fixed because we didn't notice that the other day because there was no water you know but today there's water pooling there and it's like on our front porch next to the house so they did need to fix that and we know it's not like a busted pipe or anything because right there you can see a dip in the concrete and i guess we just didn't notice that before but anyway I got me some lunch and I'm at Bucky's now and I'm going to pick us up um, some food for dinner 
and then because Connor wants a brisket sandwich of course <laughs> can't go to bus Bucky's without trying it uh, Bucky's is a love-hate relationship because it's so crowded I've never been to another one though so I can't speak for all of them this one here is so crowded and always and the traffic by the red light is crazy like people pulling out down there they have like cones in the road to try to separate traffic but people pulling out end up pulling out in front of traffic oh it's bad like they just almost got hit <sighs> anyway and then in the actual buggies is chaos so many people everywhere I mean the good thing is and why I keep coming back is their food is really good and they're like souvenir slash just like shopping sections are really cool but it's expensive but I just like to look at them and their bathrooms are top-notch because there's you can literally there's never a line for the bathroom even with all the people and then there's bathroom attendants and so each stall is separated off the doors close of course well that's one reason because you know how some stall doors like have a crack and you can see that's not how these are thankfully <laughs> I hate those that's like a pet peeve of mine but this is not these have like doors that actually shut and yeah so that makes it much more private and then the bathroom attendants are always in there there's always like at least one in the whole bathroom maybe two cleaning out stalls constantly so it's really good for their bathrooms <laughs> and their food's good so I keep coming back but I've learned to use the back entrance and park back here where nobody else parks you got to get your steps in but it helps move the camera so yeah we did the final walkthrough. I'm excited. He's gonna, the superintendent's gonna meet us back there on Friday after we close and make sure that we like everything that he fixed in the meantime. And hopefully the concrete will be done too. He said he's gonna do it. There's only two days, but he said he's gonna do it. So anyway, I don't know if we can drive on it though. He said you should be able to walk on it within one day. And I said, I asked him when you should drive and he said three days which that's not gonna be Friday so I guess we just won't drive on it <laughs> which means we're gonna have to unload stuff and walk through the yard I mean we can walk through anyway whatever the whole street though is getting built still like all the houses on the street there's one other house I think but nobody like lives there so I mean there's one other house that's like fully built but nobody lives there so all the other houses on the street are still being built so that's kind of chaos too because <laughs> you can't really get through there but we live on a corner lot so that helps because then you have the whole other street that connects that you can that's beside our house too anyway I'm just rambling on I'm excited I can't wait for y'all to see it I'm gonna put a little picture in from our first walkthrough that we did and let y'all see the house at the end of this video um and then I'll do a little walkthrough tour on Friday when we get there so stay tuned super excited all right bye I'm out of breath because I just walked across the parking lot <laughs> plus I get nervous in crowds like that and when I get nervous my heart starts beating really fast and I get out of breath but anyway did you know Bucky's has iced coffee like I've seen the little coffee stations before and just assumed it was hot coffee so today I was like you know I should probably get a coffee since I'm driving three hours and I'm still out of breath <laughs> but um then I saw iced coffee so I got me some iced coffee I haven't even tried it though um I put some they have like stations with the creamers and stuff so I'll put some caramel macchiato creamer in there and then a little splash of milk. Yeah, that's good. Yum! Okay. I love that. I did not know that they had iced coffee. Let's hit the road. Three hours and then we're home. <laughs> Just got home. Got the Bucky's. Smokey's watching Friends. Smokey, are you okay? 
All right, I'm gonna take care of him. <laughs> so good to be home. I have such a massive headache from driving that far. But, okay. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, love Jesus, love others, and love yourself. Bye.